In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop one of the glitchiest runs going around in the Madden community right now. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better at Madden 21. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, my, like I said, my channel is all about helping people get better, and so every single day we share new videos that can help you get better on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so in today's video, we are going to be sharing with you how to stop the trips tied in running scheme that has kind of been coming up a lot more lately. A lot of people are using um, different things like the inside zone, the quick base, uh, and things like that. The quick base is one of the best runs that I've seen uh, so far in the community. So we're going to talk about that in this video, and we're going to share with you a really good defense to be able to deal with it when your opponent is just trying to pound the rock. And really quickly, before we dive any further, the defense we're going to be sharing with you is actually out of the Mike Blitz 3. This was found in the nickel 335 wide right here, Mike Blitz 3. That's the defense that we're going to be kind of basing out of. And if you want to get my entire nickel 335 wide defensive guide, it teaches you everything you need to know about match defense, zone drops, man defense, run defense, as well as heavy, heavy user rushing and pressure defenses. You can get that entire defensive guide for just $15 in the description. It helps support the channel a ton. And if you want to get better on the defensive side of the ball, I would highly recommend it. It's been the best defense all season long for a reason. We wrote that guide back in, uh, well, we started running the defense back in June. And I think we wrote the guide like first thing as soon as the game came out. So, and we've just kind of um, refined it. It's, got a, it's gotten a few updates over the course of, of the Madden season, but overall it's been, I think, just the best defense in the entire game. So anyways, Mike Blitz 3, and uh, real quick, for those of you that don't know, this is something I'd recommend. Um, this is not particularly partial to run defense. This is more for pass defense, but this is my new zone drop um, recommendation to anyone that would ask me, what are your zone drops? I like to have my flats on 30, my curl flats are gonna be on 10, and my hook curls are gonna be on five. Now, if they make me adjust that, I will, but typically this is where I wanna be. This, this is kind of my, my primary way to do it, um, and then everything else is kind of standard. So anyways, Mike Blitz 3, and how do you stop the run from this? And let me first illustrate the problem. So most people like, if you're like me, you like to stand kind of right there in the trips tight end, and what they'll do is they'll run this 45 quick base and they'll basically just eat your lunch. As you can see right here, I mean, this thing is really, really effective. It's really hard to stop this run. There's not really a nice, neat formula for doing it, at least until today. So again, a lot of people will do different things. They'll do different shifts, but the problem is they can't really find the answer because this pulling guard really does mix it up a little bit. In inside zone, it's not as hard to stop it. And let me show you that real quick. With an inside zone run, the reason that inside zones are not as hard to stop is because you're, you, there's no like pulling guard to, to, to mess up your user. So your, your user can just run right in that little lane. In this video, we're gonna be sharing with you how to stop the quick base. Now, first and foremost, I do wanna like full, fully show you like a user. So if I see quick base, I, you see that's what happens right there. That right there is exactly what happens. Obviously the, the run stick wasn't great, but that's exactly what happens. Let me show you an instant replay, kind of what the problem is, and then we can work toward a solution for it. So if I go into instant replay, you're gonna see what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna user, and I'm shooting the gap really hard with my user, and as you can see, the guard is basically a lead blocker and completely picks me up, and he's off to the, you know, I mean, bad run stick, but he's off to a pretty good run game. So that's kind of the issue or the challenge. Now, the way that you fix that challenge is, it's kind of tricky, but basically what you wanna do is essentially we want the guard to go block nobody. And so if you look at the bottom right here uh, of, the, of the lineman, you're gonna notice that there's a little shadow underneath the center and underneath the guard. What this is telling me is it's telling me that the center and the guard, are no, they know that I am blitzing, they know that I'm coming through that gap. And so due to that, they will try to pick me up, right? That's what they're gonna try to do. And so what I wanna do is kind of trick them out and, and, and get them to not do that. I basically want the guard, the, the mechanics or the AI of the game, I want the guard to pass me off to the tackle and the tackle cannot possibly block me on an inside zone play. So the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna move to the right just a little bit and just kind of watch these shadows with me at the bottom and I'm gonna move. You see right there they moved, you see that? Now the shadows are underneath the right tackle and the right guard. This is something that you can use really, really well for, for blitzing. It's also something you can use for run defense. 
And now what we're going to do with the snap of the ball is instead of our first step being into the gap, like you would probably think, we're going to take one step down at that tackle, and then we're going to go in basically after the guard has kind of passed us through. So we'll show you how this looks right there. And of course, I didn't, great, I didn't do a great job of that. Let me show you that one more time. But you'll start to see this. It will take some practice, but if you practice this for a little bit, you'll get the hang of it. But again, you just really want to be kind of back here. And I was probably a little bit too close. You want to be... Um, you, you want to be a decent, a decent amount of uh, a distance away from it. It's like right there, that's what I want. That's exactly what I want right there. So let me show you this in instant replay and kind of break down the movement of the controller as you see it in slow motion. So fast motion, it, it's kind of hard to understand. So let's take a look at this in slow motion. So if you watch here, I'm just gonna click onto my user and really zoom in on him. But if you take a look at this, Snap of the ball, you notice, look at this little movement. Right there, you see that left foot? Right there, that's a directly moving straight. Now if you look at the guard, look who the guard's looking at. You see that he's looking over here on the right side. He's looking at Zadarius Smith. He's actually really looking, I think, at the safety or at the corner, the slot corner, right? You see that Adams right here is going to the safety and 65 Taylor is going to the corner. And so what that's done is it's left this massive gap right here that I can basically shoot with my user and take that away, okay? As you can see right there. Now, I wanna give you a really, really important tip for whenever you shoot a gap. Uh, this is something that I'm really, I'm a big believer in and you could say it doesn't take skill, whatever. Um, I'm not a great, I don't have a great ability to, to tackle. I'm not a good tackler in the open field, I'm just not. So what I do, my solution, is when I shoot this gap, I'm not gonna try to hit stick him, I'm just gonna click off. So if I shoot right through, I'm just clicking off, you see that that can cause that issue right there. If you click off too early, that, that's what can happen. But let me show you this one more time and let me just kind of break it down a little bit. So, and again, it, it is gonna take a little bit of practice. I, I think you're gonna have to practice a little bit on this because this is a hard, this is a hard shoot. But like right here, and then I'm just coming, that's exactly what we want. Now, what I've found, and of course I did a bad, terrible example right there, what I have found is I don't give up as many broken tackles whenever I do that. One of the popular, con, uh, one of the popular tactics of people that are gonna be running this run is they are gonna want to, um, they're gonna wanna do a little stop and go in the backfield. That's gonna be the move. Um, and so they're gonna try to throw you off. They're gonna basically try to get you to run yourself out of the play. Um, as you can see right here, we're able to shoot the gap. Now I went a little bit quick. You see, you see that? You see the difference between this one and last time? The difference is where my feet are. If I'm a little bit more to the left here, it'd be a little bit cleaner. You see that he does try to kind of hit me, right? But right at the point of contact, I'm, I have now clicked off and just allowed the computer to make the tackle. I find that to be so much more effective. Obviously here he ended up breaking it, but I just think that helps you with the stop and go situation. A lot of people are really good at stopping and going, and people see it as like a honestly like a little badge of honor that they're able to um, that they're able to stop the the stop and go. I'm just telling you personally, it really doesn't make a bit of difference to me. I just want to make the tackle, right? I just don't want to have to deal with the run game, and so you know that is a really easy little formula. So again, you want to be kind of back right in here. You want to be a little bit more to the right, so that I'm between the guard and the tackle, not the guard in the center. And the snap of the ball, you're just coming through, just like that right there. And that's what we're looking to do. And that's how you can stop this run. This run is really, really hard to stop. I don't want to uh, like go easy and say, oh, this is not a big deal. This is a big deal. Like a guy literally just won $1,000 basically for running this run. So th this is a good run. But what I want to encourage you with is this is how you can combat it. This is how you can stop it. It's, it does, you need to go into practice mode. You need to spend a little bit of time learning this. But if you want to learn my complete 335 wide defensive guide, I have a very good defense. Um, it's been the best defense all season long. It's great against the run. In the guide, we literally walk you through step by step how to have a great run defense, how to have a really solid match defense, how to have a great zone drop defensive scheme, how to have a great man defensive scheme. And then the biggest thing that we share with you is how to and why to blitz effectively in Madden 21. So if you wanna get that entire defensive system, you can get that in the description of this video for just $15. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys later.